How are you doing guys, Jimmy Ding here bringing you a Conan Exiles build video. I told you Conan fans not to worry about me starting Valheim because I'm absolutely categorically not giving up the game I started this channel on until the day it is completely and utterly dead. With so many hardcore fans of the games out there that's not going to be for a while. Now this footage is just some random stock footage I had of other builds I had lying around whilst I rambled on for a sec, but whilst Viking Mania is in full swing, I did think it'd be fitting to make a Viking roundhouse build as I've never attempted one before. This was made on PC using 99% vanilla game assets other than one or two decorative pieces. Though you'll need the riders of Hyboria DLC to replicate it exactly, you could use the base game wooden pieces for it. The stable pieces just fitted the theme better. If you like this, then please, as always, hit the like button and subscribe to me so you don't miss any more Conan or Valheim builds. This location is at Skyhome Ruins in E10 of the map. Really ideal for this build as it has a circular ruined wall in place already and paths leading to it. The floor plan is just a simple circle build, nothing complicated at all. I've used black ice foundations in the middle and put stable fence foundations around the hay foundations for a rustic stone look. One of the main features of this roundhouse is the fire pit in the middle. I start to build it now. I used the wooden support frames to create an inner scaffold leading to the top of the roof and sunk some more stable foundations around the stone middle pieces to create a barrier for the flames. I now fill the roof in with thatch pieces creating upper section for the top point of the cone which would let all the smoke out. It also just makes it look a bit more broken up and detailed as stacking that many thatch pieces otherwise makes it look a bit like a straw pyramid. The roof now in place, I add some awnings around the base of the roof and help fortify the broken stone wall with some nice spiky palisades. I also really like the mini gates I create a bit later and I use statues of Ymir to fill in the gaps between the door frames and palisades.
With the roundhouse getting moderate protection from its spiky wall, I now start to decorate the interior from the inside out, starting with the bonfire. It's pretty cramped inside, but I get most of the crafting stations in with enough room for two beds as well. In theory, if you're on a trustworthy server, you could put a lot more crafting stations outside too. I now furnish and decorate the roundhouse in a very viking style, which basically just means fur hides, wooden torches, and of course, nice skulls stuck on sticks in a circle around the fire pit, just so you've got some company whilst you sit there and warm your toes up. After some last minute touch ups and placing an altar to Ymir outside, the build was complete. Now cue the obligatory panning shots and walkthrough tour you know and love. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, once again, if you could hit that like button and subscribe to me, it would mean the world to me. I've got another Valheim build coming along very shortly, so stay tuned. This has been Jimmerding, have a good one guys.
Thank you.